Hi guys, my name is Michelle and welcome to my channel. I make time-lapse videos of how I did my paintings. Today I'm painting a Cavalier King's Charles Spaniel puppy. This puppy has such beautiful eyes and that's the reason I chose this for reference photo. I was hoping I would render that beauty on the canvas. Oh no, this is a wood panel, not a canvas. This wood panel was primed with an oil primer so it's exceptionally smooth. Thus, it's very easy for me to sketch on it with a pencil. I then traced the sketch line with burnt umber mixed with sensodor. Actually, I realized that I don't really have to do this step because the pencil marks actually did not dissolve when I put in the oil paint. I thought they would disappear but they didn't. Very quickly, I put in the first layer of color but for the eyes, I would spend a little more time to paint it slightly more accurately than other areas in terms of the placement of lines and shapes of the eyes. Most artists probably prefer to put in the first layer of color very loosely, but for me, I find that by spending a little more time on the eyes, even on this very first layer, makes it easier for me to create a more realistic eyes afterwards. For the rest, as in the fur, generally I mixed three tones of colors. First, I laid in the darkest tone, then mid tone, and lastly the lightest tone. For the white fur, I mixed a little sepia and yellow ochre into the white. I then let this layer to dry before starting on the next layer. I love painting the reflections in the eyes. Here in this puppy's eyes, I think those are the reflections of a door or windows and a pathway. There is a subtle difference in the blacks on the eyeball, particularly the darkest tone on the rim of the iris and just below the upper eyelid because of the shadow. Then there is a slight blue color on the white light reflection to indicate the color of the sky. And the edge of the pathway, the door or window curve along the shape of the eyeball. There is a cast shadow on the left eye, so the left side of the left eyeball would have the darkest black and of course just below the upper eyelid as well. The whites of the eyes must never be pure white, otherwise it will look really fake. I noticed the right eye is ever so slightly too rounded on the lower eyelid area, making it a bit imbalanced in terms of size as compared to the left eye, so I corrected it here. For the nose, I also pre-mixed three tones of black and grey and painted in from the darkest to the lightest tone. After that, I blended the edges and fine-tuned from here. There needs to be a gradual change in tone from the nostrils to the lower part of the nose. Then added in a further lighter tone to indicate the texture of the nose. At the hindsight of the dog, because I want to render it slightly out of focus, I would paint in clumps of fur instead of very clear strands of fur. Then I softened the area with a dry brush. After I covered most of the fur with a second layer, I worked on the paws first, leaving the fur a bit of time to dry up even just a little. I would add in individual strands of fur, those that are more brightly lit by the light. This fur can go different ways than those underneath, making it look more natural.
this time I did not use much of an angle brush, instead I used a round brush. To me, angle brush seems to work better when I am painting short fur animals. For this long fur dog, I find it more effective to use a small round brush. I had a hard time painting the whiskers from this round brush. I had to paint over it with the brown fur color to make it look thin. How do you like this Cavalier King's Charles Spaniel puppy? Let me know what animals do you want to see me paint in the comment. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you have a great day ahead and see you in the next video. Bye bye.